Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing Bark, which is a new transformer based text to audio model created by a company called Suno. Now, the amazing thing is guys, is that this is open source and it's completely free and you're able to access it on the web browser using Hugging Face as well as Google Colab. Now, basically, this software uses a cutting edge technology called transformer based architecture. Now with Bark, users can actually generate high quality audio outputs that is able to mimic human speech in a variety of languages, which we can see later on in the video. Now, the great thing about this software, guys, is that this model is actually capable of producing other types of audios, such as music, background noise, and simple sound effects. Additionally, Bark is actually equipped to produce like very good experiences and expressions in types of speech, such as like laughing, other types of emotions such as crying and a lot of different outputs that this audio as well as this model can actually produce now with that thought guys before we actually get into the bulk of the video i just want to say thank you so much for actually supporting this channel as we just hit 3k guys i really really appreciate it now if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos i highly recommend you do so because there's a lot of content that will definitely benefit you guys and also please like this video as it'll definitely help the algorithm out guys and if you guys haven't subscribed i would highly recommend it that you do because i'm always catering you guys with different sizes of videos that will definitely benefit you guys so with that thought let's get right into the video so before we actually get into the book of showing you guys the demo as well as how you can actually tweak around with it on google collab let me just give you a little analysis as well as a breakdown to this application now basically as i talked about at the start Bark operates as a transformer based architecture. Now, what this means is that it's a state of the art neutral network technology and it's used for natural language processing. Now, this architecture allows models to process text input and generate high quality audio output that is more realistic and expressive than other text to speech apps, such as like Eleven Labs, for example. Now, unlike traditional text to speech models, Bark can generate multilingual speech output. Now, this is quite remarkable because the amount of languages that they have, and it's something that they're continuously working on, like such as this, they have three different languages that they're going to be releasing soon, Arabic, Bengali, and Telugu. Now, obviously, they've like prioritized on certain other languages at the moment, which is Spanish, German, French, Hindi, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Turkish, and Chinese simplified, which is quite remarkable, guys, because they've been able to do this and you're able to actually output different texts to different languages and this is something that is quite groundbreaking because i there are certain applications and models that are able to do this but the quality of it is not at the level as this actual application which is quite significant now the advantage for users who actually use this and create audios can actually do this with multiple languages which is quite remarkable and it's free which is awesome guys now bark can also generate nonverbal expressions such as laughter sight and crying with these languages which actually makes the audio output even more emotional and realistic as a real person would sound and we can see that over here if you really wanted to input a certain type of audio style you can input it in brackets with the code in google collab and this is something that i'll show later on in the video as it's something that i highly recommend that you play around with as you can add different types of factors to get the best type of realistic audio output. Now, one of the reasons that I really prefer this model as well as it is more of a superior than other text to speech apps is because it's ability to produce high, highly realistic audio outputs. And this is something that I'll show you in the examples shortly. Now, this model uses a combination of advanced techniques such as spectral nominalization as well as a fine-tuned grained attention for its audio output and this basically gives it a more natural and human-like audio now one of the other advantages that i really wanted to emphasize is that it's able to customize different audio outputs you can fine-tune the model so it matches specific needs by adjusting various parameters now this is something that you can do when you install it onto your GPU. And I mean, when you use your GPU to actually run it and certain things such as like speech rate, pitch, and like basic like tones that you can actually output the audio in. And the level of customization is not available in other text-to-speech 
applications and this is something that i really want to emphasize because bark is able to do this very very good at the current moment and another advantage that i really want to emphasize is that you're able to access the pre-tained model checkpoints which i can leave in the description just like down in below because these checkpoints it makes it easier for users to generate like audio outputs without the need to have extensive training and this is something that is provided with this model card now this feature is especially useful for researchers as well as developers now something that i really wanted to note that is that this is actually not for commercial use guys this is just for like trying it out and trying to see if you're able to play around with this so that you can like use it for research or other purposes but at this current moment it's not for commercial use so just keep that in mind obviously you want to stay updated so make sure you follow their community but with that thought guys let's get right into the demo all right guys let's get to the demo now this is basically a prompt that it wrote is that hello my name is sino and uh i like pizza and it tells it to prompt the laugh and then it says, but I also have other interests such as playing tic-tac-toe. So let's see how it actually outputs this audio in this way. Hello, my name is Suno. And, uh, and I like pizza. <laughs> but um, I also have other interests such as playing tic-tac-toe. Now guys, I don't know about you, but that definitely sounds like a human to me. And especially the laugh and how it's like prompted with the other other sentence how it's followed up is quite remarkable as to how it mimics a human's type of speech now it also sounds like if it, like a drunk person but obviously you can tweak and tone certain la like prompts such as like the laughs as well as how it's output in a certain way so you can play around with it obviously with google collab and i'm going to show you how you can actually do that now this is just another example of how it output into a foreign language buenos dias miguel Tu colega piensa que tu alemán es extremadamente malo. But I suppose your English isn't terrible. Which is insane, guys, because you're able to output it in a foreign language, and it's also able to have the accents, the native accents for the respective language. And you can download the different like model cards for different languages, and you can also play around with it on Google Colab to have it output in a certain way. Obviously, this is not going to be for commercial use, but it's something to that to actually play around with and have a research towards. Now, amazing thing is, guys, you can also make music. And obviously, this is not the same type as other things because you need to have different types of queries and prompts to make sure that the output is like better. But obviously, this is a product that they're going to continuously work on to be output the best type of audio. Now we can see, let's hear how this music actually works. I need in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion barks tonight. Obviously, it's not the best type, but you can see that it's actually able to generate some sort of like speech and it's able to have that difference of a speech and a music type of audio output. Obviously, this is something that they're going to continuously work on, so don't criticize it too much, but it's quite remarkable to see some of this. Now, in terms of its voice presets and voice video cloning, you're able to actually clone different people's voices, and this is something that I'll show later on in the video. Good voice. And today I will tell you about the exercise regimen of the common sloth. Obviously, this one sounds a little bit more AI-like, but you're able to get a sense of how it works. And you can also have speaker prompts of the narrator, man, woman, and a lot of different other types of special like audio outputs. I would like an omelette latte, please. Wow, that's expensive. Now, imagine, guys, you're able to input the language models as with this application. You're going to be able to go so much further with it and this is just a start guys i believe that they're going to continuously work on it and have something that is able to output something way more better in the future so definitely keep an eye out for this now in terms of its installation it's able to, you're easily able to do this onto your local desktop but in my opinion i'm not going to be showing you that in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can actually use it on google collab now there's also different examples that you can also see and i'll leave this link down in the description below i'll play around with some i just wanted to show you like how it actually sounds the the model is called bark 
like Clifford the Big Red Dog, or... Uh, now, if you look at this, guys. Tired of Dune's fooling, Twitter. You can see this is all AI generative text to speech. And this is remarkable as to the tone as well as how it's output. Like in this, you can see... Worried about the inevitable... It sounds like a 1990s or like, like around like those 1900s type of like basic monologues that is shown on the audio and you can see that's able to replicate that type of tone as well as that voice output now obviously in this one you're able to get a better ai generative audio of a modern type of voice for example another one is like this seriously then, how, how do you get a square burger from you can have the native accents output in this uh i used to work at a fire high different types of things now in this thing you have a meta tag of a sad output so let's hear how that sounds my friend's bakery burned down last night <sighs> now his business is toast you can see you're able to have the emotion in the text you can have like a laughter in this like for example like this is how it is like sound. a face for radio and like what do they say a uh, voice for um for print <laughs> like i that's just quite scary, guys. You see an AI actually laugh. And obviously, you can even play around with different voices, like Spanish, which we saw. Uh, you can see uh, Indian or Hindi, sorry, German, French, different types of languages. I definitely recommend that you play around with this. Obviously, there's code switching ones. It was as if he had never. Where it's basically uh, playing around with a different type of language, with an English language, which is quite remarkable, guys. And this is something that I want you guys to check out in the description below. I'll leave all the links down in the below so that you can actually play around with it. Now, in terms of installing, I want you guys to actually play around with this because this is quite remarkable and it could be used for a lot of different cases. Now, first things first, what you want to do is go to runtime and you want to make sure you change the runtime and have your GPU set as the hardware accelerator. Once you have done that, you click save and make sure that you connect to the actual Google Colab. Now, once you're able to do that, initialize that, you want to make sure that you have a safe copy in your drive because you don't want to run it uh, on the actual one that is provided to you. So make sure you have it like on your own Google Drive. Now, once you're done that, you need to install all the packages. So what you want to do is click the button for each and every one. Obviously not this one, but you want to click the one for this code. The basics, you want to install that the text prompts, as well as the other advanced examples of what you want to do. And we, these are some of the things that we talked about and showed in the example before. And what you can do is that you can change the prompt and add different types of brackets, which I showed you before. And these are some of the things that you can play around with. Clear throat, add for hesitation, for music, you can add this caption, as well as if you want a woman or, or a man to speak towards your speech. And this is something that you can play around with by adding a bracket in your speech. So make sure that you play around with this, guys. If you want to have a different language, you can write it in this type of language by having a prompt of which language you want it to come out of. And you can even add like two languages in one actual prompt. And this is something that is quite remarkable. Obviously, this is going to take some time to download. So I highly recommend that you you do so. But you make sure that you have the gpu set as your acceleration for your hard drive that way you're able to get the best output and the best efficient way to actually run this on the google colab obviously you have the ability to run it on hugging face but due to like long queues you're not going to be able to run it like efficiently because there's definitely going to be a lot of people because there's like so many people actually like if this I was actually released very recently and it's been getting a lot of liking right now so guys it's gonna be very hard to run it on, on especially on hugging face so make sure you, if you have the right hardware you can run it on your desktop but if you don't definitely run it through google colab and that's basically it for today's video guys overall in summary bark is a highly advanced text to audio model and it's definitely going to be able to operate and transform different types of output for audios so i highly def definitely recommend that you check out these links and i'll leave them all in the description below now if you really enjoyed this video guys it would mean the world to me if you guys can go subscribe comment anything that you want to see in the future and definitely let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover but with that thought guys i hope you have an amazing weekend make sure that you spend the right time with the right people and you have a smile on your face and with that thought guys i hope you have an amazing day and i'll see you guys next time peace out fellas